Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be showing you not just how to create a carousel like this, but how to create a curve carousel. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so here on Figma, the first thing I'm gonna do is to bring in my frame. I'm gonna press A on the keyboard. I'm gonna go to desktop and I'm gonna click on desktop, right? So this is more of the default size that I can use for my web pages, actually for desktop. And I'm gonna go ahead and just type landing page. Now, having done that, next thing I want to do is to add my layout grid. So if you're a big fan of layout grid, you can go ahead and just customize it the way you want. I'll just go ahead and just um, add the layout grid here for my design. I'm going to use 108 and I'm going to use 24. Okay, having done that, um, I can go ahead to add my um, heading text, my body text, um, and also maybe a call to action button. So next thing I want to do is to bring in this carousel. Um, I like to create the carousel. So I'm going to draw, I'm going to press F on the keyboard to bring in my frame too. I prefer to use the frame instead of using the rectangle. So if your um, designer actually use, like prefer to use rectangle to like max the image, just a lot of work because you have to like bring in the image and then use the maxing tool to max the image um, inside of this rectangle. But if you're using the frame, you can easily just um, drag and drop that image inside of the frame and then it clicks um, that image up for you like it masks the image for you automatically or you can just do a copy and paste that copy and paste and then the image um, will see max inside of the frame so I'll just go ahead and add a few so that way I know um, where the frame is exactly so this is the frame of the same size probably I can just maybe um, adjust it a bit so I have this, I can do this spacing here at 24, which is great. Okay, so I have um, three images here and I can go ahead and, and make this an auto layout. So this, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna press shift key on the keyboard to make it an auto um, layout. So it just, um, everything is inside of one frame and I can just duplicate this, command D and keyboard. I can duplicate as many and I have um, a lot of frames here, right? Then I can center align this. Okay, maybe the distance here is a bit too much. I'll just remove this up. I'm using, I'm pressing shift on the keyboard and I'm using the arrow to make it move faster. And I can hold um, option or alt on the keyboard if you're using the windows to see the distance um, between these buttons. So I can use 48, which is great. Um, Okay, so this is my uh, my frames for the images. And I usually just go to Pixel to get um, images. So whatever image I'm gonna need. So let's say it's some um, image about people, right? Probably may not be like the best option or just random images. I can use something like this. I'll just go ahead and just copy it. So if you have, uh, if you're using Figma, you can definitely use the Pixel um, the Pixel plugin. Um, yeah, you can definitely use the Pixel plug plugin. That, that also works as well. But I prefer to just go in here, copy the image. I prefer to go to the website. I'm going to copy the image, start downloading it. Um, since I don't want like the high resolution of the image, I just want something I can easily use right now. So I'll just come here and paste. Let me paste in the first one. So once I paste that command V on the keyboard, I can now hold op option and shift key while I click on the anchor point and drag it down. If I can expand, I can drag it down. So watch, I'm holding shift option and then I'm using the other uh, click uh, on this anchor point to expand it. So that way it's centered and then um, it's not um, the size or the image is not distorted. Okay, so this will be here and I can just go back um, to look for other images. I'm going to speed up this process so that way I don't have to waste uh, much time trying to get um, the right images for our landing page.
So just to uh, a comment here, if you have, um, like you have a lot of frames and then maybe some of them are actually like, one is actually invincible and you can't click on it obviously. So what you can do is once you click on this, I, I suggest you name the frame. So I can just go ahead and name this gallery or call, um, so just, you can just name it gallery. So that way you know, so gallery, um, gallery images, all right. And I can click on, so once I click on this, I can look at the frame, like this one, frame 21, and I can go ahead and paste the image that I want to paste right inside of it without um, that bringing it out and just all the stress. So it's inside, I'll just go ahead and, and reduce it. So for the best part, I'm not seeing what I'm doing. So what I can do is once I click on this, I can click on this frame and then bring it out here and I can I can see exactly the image. So um, this is this might not be like the best image to use, but for the sake of the illustration and because I want to move fast as I'm using um, this um, images. Okay, so having done that, next I want to do is to bring in my cuff. So let me just move this element a bit up so that we have a little bit of space below this section. And just to make this a little bit more so it's more like um, it's going to be more when I scroll. You can add more images to uh, to this um, frame, and by duplicating any of these elements, you can add more images. Like you can go ahead, grab another image, and replace that one. Um, let's say I can just go ahead and grab this one, you copy this image. You can go back to Figma, I can double and then paste it inside, and it's going to replace that image for me. I can. Um, we position it the way I want, right? So you can duplicate more, you can duplicate this frames and then add more images by copying and pasting them um, right here. So I can just go ahead and duplicate this, move it to the end. I can duplicate this one, come on D and then move it to the end. So I'm using my arrow key to, to move it to the very end of the frame. So you can see it's expanding. I can duplicate this one as well and then move it to the, to the end of um, the frame, right? So this is, uh, I guess to be, I can move this a little bit more closer here. So we have one empty frame that we can use here, right? Okay, so I'll just go ahead and grab one more image. So if you want to preview this, um, just to check out the design that we've done, um, just give it a second, let it load up. As you can see, we have our images in, and but it's not scrollable, right? What I can do, I can clip this content. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna drag this in here, All right? I'm gonna stop somewhere here. Now, next I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click on prototype, and I'm gonna change this from no scrolling to horizontal scrolling. Now, once that is done, if I go back to the preview mode, I can now scroll this left or right the way I want, All right? I can add more images just to make it. Um, more flexible in terms of the scrolling and now to make it a little bit more look like the way we actually like want our design to, to be i'm going to go ahead and bring in um a circle so i'm going to press o as on the keyboard as over to and i'm going to draw a circle of the shape this would be this just is going to make our design the curve a bit so most times when you do this um this shape may not be inside of the frame, like it's not inside of the frame. So what I can do is just like reposition it, or I can just press Command X on the keyboard, click on the frame, and then press Command V, and then it's gonna paste that um, object inside of the frame. So we have our uh, circle eight, and I'm gonna change this to white. I'll just come and just pick the white color, and I'm gonna hold Alt on the keyboard, and I will drag it, click and drag, to bring it down here. So we succeeded in having our curved um, carousel. So if I go back to the preview mode, you can see we have our curved carousel. Now, it's gonna get complicated if you have a background. So for example, we have this one, just a plain image, um, just a plain background, like um, this color, and then we'll have this one, which is white, as well, which is also like uh, one color. So what if we have maybe a background, something like this, so let's say we want to remake this um, kind of carousel, one with, that has maybe a complicated background 
uh, we can go ahead to create this um, config map. So let's say we want to go with a nice looking background. Uh, let's say we go to pixel and we set show background. Okay, so let's say we want to use something a little bit more, not so colorful, All right? Maybe something like this, maybe cloud background. I'm gonna copy this image. I'm gonna to go to Sigma and I'm gonna duplicate this um, frame. I'm gonna name it maybe 01 or something. And I'm gonna paste that image inside of the frame. And I'll move it backward by holding command and square bracket open, move it all the way backward. Now next is to max this background image inside of this circles, right? So we'll go ahead and paste the image, command V. Again, here. And this time around, I want to mask it inside of this eclipse, right? So this is the first one. So I'm gonna call this first call. So I'm gonna say first call. And I'm gonna call this one the second call. So that way I know exactly which of uh, the daily with. So I'm going to max it to the first call. I'm going to move it up a bit. I'll just drag and move it up. I'm going to highlight the boots and I'm going to max it. So you can see um, the image really max inside of um, the call. And I can call this, um, I can see like rename it again. So I can see first call, right? And this will be also the second call. I'll just go ahead, click here and then come on the V again to paste that image. And I'm going to move it down here. So I'm going to max it alongside the second curve. And I'm going to click. I'm going to, once I highlight the board element, that's the image and then the, the, the curve, right? I'm going to go ahead and use this max. So that way it's max. I'm going to call this second curve as well. Right? So let's preview this and see how it looks. So it's trying to lower the image. I don't know if it speaks a little bit, but you can see we're able to achieve the curve um, by maxing the curve with the background, by maxing the background color in uh, our curved um, circle, right? Same here. So you can see we're able to achieve that. Um, and it's looking very um, unique. I guess no, some kind of um, um, distortion with the image placement and all of that. So this is how you create uh, we call carousel using Figma. I'm going to add this file in the description um, below. You can, you can download it, you can go ahead and interact with it. You can go ahead and tweak this, you can go ahead and add whatever style you want to add to, to this as well. Thanks for watching this video and I'll catch you in the next one.